everybody, it's Christy with Chef Green 2002 and I wanted to show you a couple of items, well quite a few items that I picked up today. I did head back over to Walmart <laughs> twice in one week, it's a miracle. I remembered that at Food for Less um, they're selling these Farmer John hot dogs. Let me just show you right here. 78 cents. So um, I had a dollar off coupon, so I decided to go ahead and price match those and use a coupon and get 22 cents in overage for each one. I had 16 of these coupons, but I only found 8 of the, um, the hot dogs. So being it's Memorial Day weekend, it doesn't surprise me. Also, the um, Best Food Mayo okay, was also at Food for Less this week. For $2.98. Um, I have this $1 off from the $5.19 Red Plum. And I'm going to give you more um, details on that kind of stuff. I needed some apples, so I grabbed those. This is four apples. Um, the Dr. Pepper was $1.50. And the half and half was $1. So basically, here is the breakdown of what happened at Walmart. The retail of these items was $29.20. I paid $5.88 out of pocket, including my tax. I saved $23.32 with coupons and price match, which comes out to $0.49 cents per item. So that's excellent for, um, for the hot dogs, the apples, the mayo, soda. So that's pretty good. Here's a little more of the description of what, what I did. I bought eight Farmer John uh, hot dogs comes to six twenty four, and then I used eight of those um, dollar off coupons, so I got a dollar seventy six overage there. The best foods I price matched for two ninety eight had a dollar coupon for that. So the Dr Pepper was one fifty. My husband wanted that, so that's <laughs> he was with me. And then the half and half, I need some of that. I also need some apples. These apples are outrageous price. I couldn't find um, any store to price match them at though. This is just not the best time of year for apples, but. 272 for four apples, so kind of high. But anyways, they're healthy. I'm gonna use them. So, um, so eight Farmer John coupons at a dollar piece is eight dollars off, and then one Best Foods coupon for a dollar. And like I said, that's from the F Farmer John's from the four seven Smart Source, and the Best Foods is from the five nineteen. That's that should be Red Plum. It says Smart Source, but it should be Red Plum. So my total uh, before coupons was fourteen forty four. And I used nine dollars manufacturer coupons, came to five forty four, and if you include tax and California redemption value, it was five eighty eight. So not too bad for that forty nine cents per item, pretty good. Did some price matching and got some overage two days in a row. Awesome. Okay. So I also went to Family Dollar, and I'm going to show you a couple of the coupons I used. I don't have any of the suddenly, suddenly Salads right now, but here's a hint. If you want to print extra Suddenly Salad, go to Swag Bucks where their coupons are, and you can print from your same computer to Suddenly Salad coupons from Swag Bucks. Swagbucks.com. It's a great search engine, search engine. I use it all the time. Okay, so here's one of the coupons I used. 50 cents off one Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Also, this coupon was in a Food for Less flyer. They put these out like every month or so. They put out the flyers. So this is a dollar off two fruit snacks. Any Betty Crocker fruit snack, basically. So I used two of these for this transactions. And, yeah, and then the Suddenly Salad one. And I don't have one of those to show you. I actually need to print some for my laptop. And I don't have, I used a coupon for 50 cents off crunch bars, which I don't have to show you either, but because I used them. So basically, this is everything I got right here from Family Dollar. And it comes to $65 retail. So I will show you the breakdown. I'm not going to get too crazy on the details because I know there's a lot of videos on it already. Well, I might have more detail than you even need, but. Retail sixty five sixty five out of pocket for everything thirteen twenty two including tax um, of savings of fifty two forty three with coupons um, and 
I paid $13.22 for 27 items. It's 49 cents an item. Seems like we have a theme going here. 49 cents, 49 cents. Hey, both stores, 49 cents per item. Pretty good. Used to be when I first started couponing, I was happy with a dollar an item. So, yeah. We're coming up here. Here's what um, the retail would have looked like for these items. The six girly nails, $19.50. Two crunch bars, $2. Suddenly salads, um, I bought 11 of them. It would have been $23.65. Cinnamon Toast Crunch would have been $6.50. Fruit Snacks would have been $11 for four boxes. Nature Valley would have been $3. So that would have been $65.65. Yeah, I, I just can't see paying that stuff anymore. So, strategy. That's what you learn to do when you um, coupon. You just you learn how to strategize. You want included in reward, with rewards and stuff. And um, like, for instance, that um, Dr. Pepper that my husband wanted, I had $1.76 in overage, so I was like, all right, let's get it. But we needed the mayos, we needed apples, and we needed half and half. So, but it's still, it's five, less than $6 for all those items. And it's just so much different than when you shop without coupons. And it's awesome. I love it. So, hopefully this helps um, if you're wondering um, about price matching or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Happy shopping.